Hi lovely bells, welcome to Saturday morning kind of that walk up. I hope that you had a good night's sleep and you are ready to work hard. Let's get this done. Let's stay motivated, let's stay consistent, let's do this. So we're going to start off by jogging on the spot. So we're jogging on the spot, we're getting that body, kind of thinking about moving. Um, I haven't been up long so <laughs> my body's kind of resisting, I'm going to shake it up. If my body resists, you just bear with it. And I'm back to I'm going to shake it up. And I'm going to shake it down. And then you're just going to jog on the spot. Just quite nice and soft with these feet. Letting the arms swing. Nice and tall in the spine. Lovely. I'm sure you're looking amazing. Sure you're looking good. As always. Right, we're going to do some hamstring curls. We're going to curl. Hamstring curls. So we're making sure we're having a little kick towards the bottom of the back leg. Little movement in the arms. Just warming up. We're going to do four more. Then we're going to bring it into a knee raise. Knee up. So, try and hold your breath, use the arms, use those knees. Two more, we're going to go to toy soldier kicks. So we kick, kick, kick. Just be careful. If like me, you've got your kettlebell in front, don't fall over your kettlebell. That would be a very bad kettlebell class. None of us want that. We've got another two, then back to your jog. We're jogging it out. So hopefully, the blood's flowing and you're feeling a little bit more energised. This is round two of our little warm-up sequence. Then we're going to go to cardio and we're going to do some kettlebells. Alright, when you're ready, hamstring curls. So curl, curl. So we're using these legs a little bit more now. A little bounce in the middle, bigger movement with the arms. Don't hold your breath. Should be feeling a little bit looser. And again. Four, three, two. Knee raises up. Knees come up. So we're bringing those arms round. The arms are coming up round. The knees are coming up towards your chest. If you're finding yourself down here, lift up. Lift up. It's all coming from that core. The core is working. We got another four. Toy soldier kicks. Let's kick. We're bringing the arms up and over. We're getting the leg a little bit higher now. Not too high. Still don't want to pull any muscles now or ever. <laughs> That's a really bad uh, state of affairs for muscles. It hurts. We've got four. Back into a jog. So we're jogging. That's us nice and warm now. Going to take the legs into a stance, into a squat stance. So legs are hip distance apart. When you're ready, you're going to squat down, lift, down, lift. So, not that. It's this. We're doing it with intention. You got up, you got moving. So let's make this count. We lift, exhale, lower. Lift, lower, can you use your arms? Up, out. We're going to do two more. We're going to squat and bring in a kick. So we go down, kick, down, kick, down, kick. Again, if like me, you have a kettlebell in an awkward position, just be mindful of that. You don't want to fall over it. And again, kicking that leg. We're going to do another eight. I don't normally do this many, but it feels good. Let's work the body. The body loves to move. Four, three. We're going to go back to those single squats. So we go down, left, down, left. And again, we're going to do another four. Three, two, one more time. 
Back to your jog. We're jogging. Set, we're gonna do something horrible. We're gonna get the cardio working. We're gonna stay horrible. So good for you, I promise. We're gonna do a jog, and then when I shout sprint, you're gonna sprint with your knees quickly moving up in front. All right, it's gonna work the cardio. You're gonna feel amazing after. Although, like me, you're probably gonna be pretty out of breath. It's designed to be that way. So let's do it going four, three into our sprints, two, one, sprint. Let's get those arms moving. Knees are moving. Quick, 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 quick. Use the arms. Four, three, two, back to our jog. Oh, that jog, if it felt hard before, feels much easier now when you compare it to the sprint. All right, four, three, two, you know it's coming into the sprint, go. Sprint, knees are lifting high. Eight, seven, six, suck in that core. Three, two, one, into your jog. Shall we do it again? If we may as well. It would be rude not to. So we're jogging. And four more. Three. Two, one, let's do this front. Come on team, use those arms. I'm expecting big things. Don't be just kicking the leg in the lounge. Power, power, power. Three, two, one. Jogging it out. Lovely. Let's do a side step. So we go side in, side in. So, a little move for you to catch your breath, and again. So arms can come up. Where are those arms? And again. look. Let's do another eight. Bringing that heart and lungs back down. Let's do four. I kind of lost count, I think. I might be right. Two more, then we're gonna do a whole Jumping jack sequence. So out quick with those jacks. We've got four, three, then we're going to slow them down. One, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Let's do four more. And we're going to go back to those side, out, and in. Nice and low. So we go out. In, out, in. So these should be feeling like these are your favourite. You're like, I like these. These are not so bad. If they're fine, if you're finding it tough, I feel it too. Just keep moving. Let's do two more. We're going to go into our full on jumping jack. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Watch those knees. Now slow it down. Out, in, out, in, out, in. I bet you've mastered this now. You're like, this is too easy. We're gonna do another three. Then the low impact side plies. One more. Let's do it. Out, in. If you've got much more space, you can make your movement that much bigger. Power. Lovely. I know you're looking good. Let's do four. Energy. Don't fling the arms. Here's our jumping jack. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. You know what's coming? Slow it down. Out, in. Out, in, connect with that core. How low can you go? Can you go a little bit lower? I think you can. And again. Let's do a final four. We can do anything for four. Four, in, three, in, two, one more time. And release, lovely. Kick it out, I hope that you are working as hard as me. If you're not breathing heavily, you're gonna make your movements bigger. 
add in some power. Okay, bend your knees to grab your bell. Make sure you do bend your knees and you don't tilt forward. If you do, your back will complain tomorrow. So we're going okay, standing, knees in the same direction as the toes. Don't turn your feet out to the side and shoulders in their butt pocket. Shoulders back and down, tailbone tucked under. And then when you're ready, you're gonna do round the world. So this is tough. I can feel already feel my body working. So we're gonna keep it moving. And again, let's do four more. The heavier the weight, kind of more impact the exercise has, and it's still working even at a lower weight. Stop there, reverse. So when I reverse, I have a little panic, a quiet panic, that I'm gonna drop it, send it flying. Make sure you're not doing this too close to your TVs. That could end badly. We're gonna do four or chandeliers. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, you're gonna stack your hands onto the bow. You're gonna hold it in the center. You're gonna turn it over to the right, to the center, to the left. So we're really going round with the side of the waist. Your hips are staying square to your screen. They are not rotating at all. We've got four more. Four, three, two, one more time. And release. All right, let's start with the kettlebell swing. As you know, it's my favorite. Works the cardio, works your body, your muscles. When you're ready, legs are hip distance apart, take them slightly wider than you just had them. When you're ready, prep the bow, letting that bow swing. And when you're ready, connect. <sighs> connect with your core, with your hip flexors, your hips. It's a hip hinge, it's not a squat. <sighs> Knees are soft. The breath is exhale. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> So just keep making sure you're not holding the breath. We don't want to hold the breath. And again, we're going to do another 12. I know it's a lot, but it is so good for you. What's not so good for you is my inability to count. And again, I think we've got four. This is four. Two. And let the bow swing. Lovely work. All right, you're gonna hold the bow in the base. You're gonna bring your legs a little bit closer together. And you are gonna go in to a squat hold. And you're just gonna hold it. This is an isometric move. It is working your thighs, your core, though you're not bouncing around. It's working your cardio for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Kick those legs out. Ah, I hear you cry. That was, that was easy. Okay, we're gonna go into a um, curtsy lunge. So you're gonna hold the bell in your in both hands to begin with, just so we get the rhythm. So you're gonna take it out. Curtsy behind. In. Curtsy behind. That's it. So we're curtsying, legs out, curtsy behind. So this is engaging the core, it's also working the legs. Now, we don't need to go too quick. We need to do it with control. Otherwise you're gonna find your balance is gonna be off. If you've got quite a heavy kettlebell, that's quite good. Because it sort of acts as a little anchor, but it also challenges your core and again let's do another eight core is working let's check my mass ability is that working and four yes i think so see you back at the end two one more time and release all right we're going to go down onto the floor bend your knees put your kettlebell down we're going to go straight into a tricep with a 
um, sit up variation. So again, you're gonna hold the bell at the base. You're gonna be in your knees, on your knees, or your, not currently, but your bottom on your heels. You're gonna catch your breath. You're gonna take a lovely inhale here, sucking in that core. Exhale, lift, drop the weight down. Do it without the weight, lift, then bring the weight in. Lift and lower. And again, without the weight. So we're alternating so that we can engage the core each time so the core doesn't get lazy and it, you don't lose good form. So you really got to make, oh, it's with that, isn't it? You really got to make sure that you have a good grip on your bow without the weight, tricep I should say. Now with the tricep, but as more in gym on a Saturday morning without, still working and up. If you like, when we do without, you could start to put the weight in front for a beat and make it more intense. Up to you. So weight comes out and go back down. That will be engaging everything. And again, lift and down. You don't have to do the arms out in front. You can still just hold the bow to the chest. Lift, lower. Can we do four more? Out and lower. Going to be working those arms. And again, let's go out. Let's go in. Let's go up. That's two. We got two more. Up, in, up. Don't let that upper hand get slip sidey. Holding that bow. And again, lift. And release. Oh la la. That was a challenge and a half, wasn't it? Okay, so we're gonna come back up to standing. So again, make sure that you get a nice bend in the knees to grab your bow. So bend your knees to pick up your bow. We're gonna go straight back into Russian swings. This time single arm. So shoulders back and down, connect with that core, tailbone tucked up and under. Protect the back by not letting those core muscles sort of hang out when you're ready. And here we go. Swinging the bell. Now, single arm, so when you're ready, you've got your technique nailed. Then you can do your single arms. Single arms. So we power. We power. So we could do this, but it's not that, it's this. We're using the arm that's not holding the kettlebell to swing out. It is helping you to burn more energy. It's helping you get stronger, fitter, healthier every week for every day. And again, can we do another four? I bet you was kind of about what I was going to say then. How many? Two, one, let the kettlebell swing. And when you're ready, bring it to a stop. All right, you're going to hold the kettlebell in your left hand. And we're going to curtsy over to the right. And then we're going to bring in a, an oblique move. So I'll show you what I mean. So you're standing, I'm just going to stand for the we've got a bit more space. Hopefully you can still see. You're going to go over, curtsy, bring your arm up and take the bell down. So you curtsy, take your arm up and then you do a side oblique. So we're here and oblique. So join in when you're ready. You are doing it slow and controlled. I know it's tempting to rush the movement, but actually when we rush, it's often a sign that we've got a weakness, our body hopes to rush through it, so we don't have to do it anymore. So again, here we go. So if you can't feel this one, then you will tomorrow. It's working that side of leak in the side that doesn't have the kettlebell. Have we done enough talking yet? Are you nice 
and warm. Are you as warm as me? I'm sure you are. So make sure your knees are in alignment with the toes. Making now, if this is too challenging, drop the bow, just do it without the bow. We've done quite a few reps. We're just going to do two more. One more. And release. All right, before we do it on the other side, we're going to do our goddess move. So you're going to put the bell down in front of you. You're going to turn your toes out to the side and you're going to go down into a static Leo. This means that you've still got your tailbone tucked up and under. You're not letting the weight come forward or back. When you're ready, you're going to come down if you can. Tippetoe your fingers on the bell. And then when you're ready, you're going to bring those heels up. And if you want to, you can have your hands in heart position. You're still working those inner thighs. So Mel, this one's for you. I always think of you, Mel, loving this one. I love it too. So good for you. Great for feet mobility, ankles, heels. Let's do four more. We can do anything for four. And release. Lovely work, everyone. Kicking out those legs. All right, who remembers what's next? <laughs> I luckily I do. Luckily or unluckily I remember. So you're gonna bend your knees to grab the bell. This time your bell is in your left hand. All right, so it's your left hand and you're gonna curtsy over to the, sorry, it's in your, yeah, I don't think I said that right. All right, well, here we go, when you're ready, we're gonna curtsy, arm up, over to the side. We curtsy, arm up, over, to the side. It's funny because you kind of get ahead of yourself trying to do some new moves and then your brain goes, hold on a minute, what are we doing? What now? And again, especially if you had a hard week homeschooling, um, I don't know about you, but my brain is a little bit scrambled, although I've learned some really interesting things. I can't name one thing currently, but primary school work is hard. I don't remember it being so challenging when I was a kid. So I'm deliberately talking to get you through these moves. We're going to do a final four. Obliques. And again. And again. I'm up to the side. Down. So precision. It's a power move. And again, and up, and lovely work. All right, we're going to go down into our plank. So we're going to do an oldie bit of goodie. We're going to be in our plank, our kettlebell slightly ahead of us, and we're just going to reach out and touch the plank. Now, if you'd rather, if you're finding this too challenging, you can just stay in your plank. What you want to remember is that it's all coming from the core. Don't let those hips go down. Don't let the bottom go up. It's a nice straight line. The core is connected. When you're ready, you're going to reach, reach of the bow. So, you know this one, beach bows. You don't need to be looking at the screen for a little added rest. You know, you know. Keep going. Now, it's not moving side to side. It's left, left. The core should be on fire. Left. Left, left. We're going to do another four. Four, three, two, one. Hold your plank. Hold, hold, hold. We're holding your plank for eight, seven. Bring the hips up. Three, I think it's three too early. Three, two, one. Bend your knees. Sit back onto your heels into the child's Good work everyone, well done. So, let's do it again. Let's work the body really, really hard. So again, when you're ready, you could just stay in your plank and hold that for as long as you can, or you can make it more advanced with me. And when you're ready, you're gonna to touch the bell. Is this easy? No, it isn't. We don't need easy. We need challenging. We need to make the body adapt. We've got another 
four, three, two, one, and hold, holding your plank, hold, 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 for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend your knees, sit back onto your heels, stretch it out, lovely work everyone, well done, all right, you're coming straight back up, this time you're going to bend your knees, not this time, every time, bend your knees to grab your bell. Okay, you're going to hold the bell, actually what we're going to do is we're going to hold the bell on the base and we're going to jog on the spot with the bell and then when you're ready, just for eight, you're going to lift that bell over your head, joining with me, so we go eight and don't hold your breath, when it feels challenging, go to your breath. It's your powerhouse. We're halfway. Will I miscount on this really hard exercise? No, I will not. One more. One more. And release. Lovely. All right, taking the legs into a plie. So, legs are in a plie. When you're ready, you're going to squat down, up down, up, so this should be bringing your heart rate back down, bringing it down, keep it moving, when you're ready we're going to bring in a shoulder exercise, a row, so we stop, row, down, plie, I hope you're as hot as me, and again, Lift. Good job, everybody. Do a little double check. Make sure those knees are in alignment with the toes. When you're bringing the arms up, be intentional. I know it's tough. You're tougher. Keep it going. Keep going to the breath. If it feels too challenging today, then just do the plie or just do the arms. There's no shame in that. It's supposed to be challenging. Let's do a final four. Just gonna do four. These should feel great. And again. One more time. And release, lovely. Okay, you're gonna hold your bell again by the base. Actually, it's kind of nice to have it upside down, holding it by the horse so you don't end up knocking yourself with the bell. You're gonna take your right leg out behind you and then all you're gonna do is bring your knee into the bell. So you can bring in the arms as well. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Take it out with those legs. That was tough. I can feel my heart rate skyrocketing there. All right, we've got another leg, so we're going to do the other side for 16 reps, those of you who like to plan. So when you're ready, the bell goes out, leg goes out, and knee comes up to the bell. Don't hold your breath. We've got halfway. You can do it. Of course you can do it. You've come too far to quit now. Three, two, one, one more for luck, and release, shake it out, all right, we're back down into the floor, so bend your knees to go down onto the floor, we are going to do the body saw plank, again, just my favourite ones really, on a Saturday morning, I miss the beach, I miss the jogs, at this moment coming to uh, see what we're all about, and distract us from doing these exercises, so, you're in your four point position, core's tucked up and under. Take one leg out, then the other one. When you're ready, you're going to sit forward and back. Forward and back. So it's a little movement. Now, if you're feeling really hardcore this Saturday morning, then you can come down to your elbows and you can come forward and back. Forward and back. So we're still working really hard 
our core is tucked under, it is not um, hanging down towards the mat. We're going to do another four, just four, three, two, one, inhale, hold, 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 adjust those hips, don't let them sink to the floor, three, two, one, and release. Sit back onto your heels. Have a lovely stretch out. Okay. Lovely work, everyone. Well done. All right, let's do the Russian twist. So we are on our bottoms and we are in this position. We've got our bells, so we're nice and we're on our sit bones and we've kind of made a nice V between our leg and our spine, so we're not kind of too far and we're not rounding forward either. It all comes from that center core, so really grasp, sort of hold that, kind of zip it in, so you're wearing really tight trousers. You're gonna hold your bow by the horns, and then when you're ready, as you know, most of you know, you're gonna take it side to side. If you wanna make it harder, which I know you do, you're gonna bring the legs up, and then if you wanna make it harder still, you're gonna bring the legs over to one side, then the other, side to side. I hope you're breathing as heavily as me. Side to side, only 302 to go. I'm kidding. We've got four, three, two, one, and release. Come forward, just put your hands on your ankles and just bring your head between your knees. And have a little stretch out. Should feel amazing. All right, while we're in this position, let's do a V-sit if you can. If you want to, you could just do your Russian twist with or without the kettlebell. That's up to you, it depends on how you're feeling. Otherwise, you're gonna join in with me. So you're in this V-sit, you're gonna take the legs out, in, out, in. So it's all happening in the core. It's all working really hard. I'm not sure if you can see me. Probably, if you can't, you're glad at this moment. No, you probably don't like me very much right now. You're like, Charlotte, this is too much. This is good for you too. Holding in that core for four, three, two, one more time, and release. Again, grab your hands onto your ankles, lean yourself forward, drop the head between the knees, get a lovely stretch out in that spine. All right, good job. All right, let's go back up into our kettlebell swings. We're gonna do side step swings. Now this is brilliant. Gets your core, your cardio, sorry, working really hard. Also your core, so bend your knees to grab your bow. We're nearly there team. You haven't got long to go. So when you're ready, you're gonna prep the bell. I know what you're thinking, she always says that. And then when you're ready, into your kettlebell swing. Now, you can stay here if you feel like you've worked hard enough. Otherwise, you're going to sidestep. Just be aware that you do not want to crash that bell on your knee. I know you don't need me to say that, but just be aware that that is very possible. You also don't want to let yourself lean too far forward. Don't lean too far forward, otherwise you're going to feel it in not such a good way tomorrow. Okay, this is our last kettlebell round. Keep breathing. I can hear you say, oh. That's a shame. And again. So, can we do four more? I think we can. I think we might be able to do eight more. So four from here. Breast if you need to. Two, one. Let the kettlebell swing. Lovely work. Okay, pop your bell down on the ground. When you're ready, you're gonna do jack touches. So we go out. In, out, in. So again, we're working 
the heart and lungs. We are going to be super women by the time we finish these workouts. We're working everything. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. I lost where my bell was then. Can we do another four, three, two, one, in. Kick out those legs. Okay, we're gonna do a figure of eight with our bow and lunges. So again, bend your knee to grab your bow. Make sure you've got the bow on the horns actually. And then when you're ready, you're gonna step back with your right, come in, step back with your left, come in. So as you lunge back, the bow goes under the knee in front. It is quite a challenge for your core to stop you from wiggle wobbling over. So we go down and again, and again. So I'll show you from the side. So we go down and down. So we're lunging and the bell is coming under the knee in front. And again. We've got a final eight. Eight. Don't let that core get lazy. You're still connecting for four. Looking nice and tall, look at your wall. I know this is arms looking down. One more time and release. Lovely work. Okay, we haven't done biceps. We did triceps and we did the tricep with a sit up. So you're gonna hold your bow at the base. You're gonna go into a squat. You're gonna take the arms down and then bicep curl the arms. Down, bicep curl, lift up. So as you know, I like to make sure that everything is worked. The one muscle and then it's reverse muscle or it's, um, oh, it's a wash word for it. I can't remember the word. Antagonist or something. I don't know, but anyway, the opposite muscle. So if you work your triceps, ideally you need to work your biceps. So this is what we're doing. And left, we've got a final four. Down, in, left, down. We've got a final two. Squeeze those bottoms one more time. And then I want you to hold the bar and stay here. You are staying in this isometric move. A wall sit for eight, seven, six. Don't give up team. You've come too far to give up now. Three, two, one, and release. Shake out those legs. Lovely work, okay. Bend your knees, pop the bar down. Now, we're gonna do another exercise for the core. We're gonna go into a press up and then we're gonna do a side twist, press up, and then a side twist. If you like, you do your box press up, so you're here in your four point position, and you go down and up. Otherwise, you're in your half press up, you go down and up. Or if you'd rather, you just stay in a plank, and then you do your side twist, and then your plank, and then your side twist. So ideally, I wanted to do a press up, and then a side twist. I wanted to do a press up and then a side twist. So this is your workout team. Make this workout work for you. If you've got more to give, do the full press up. If you're finding yourself thinking, oh, is it coffee time yet? Stay with the half um, press up or indeed the plank. All right, so when you're ready, choose your starting position, box plank, half plank, or full plank. When you're ready, press up, twist to the side. Open up those hips, press up, open up those hips. And again, we are working. And again, don't give up team. We haven't got many more to do. And again, let's do two more after this. 
So you know what you've got to do. Just to rest if you want, join in when you can. Don't cheat yourself. Let's go. Last time round. Twist with the obliques. Press up for everything. Twist. Back. Hold your plank. Hold, hold, hold. With your half plank if you're in the press up. And then if you can, tip your heels forward and back. Extra body sore. Hold it there. Hold, hold, hold. If you need to adjust, then do. Don't let those hips fall low. Three, two, one. Bend the knees. Sit back onto your heels. Stretch it out. All right, final exercise. Sit up. So you're coming onto the mat. You are making sure you've got a nice neutral spine, which means that you are kind of floating on top of the mat. Your lower back is not squished into the floor and you don't have an arch. It's nice and flat on the mat. Knees in alignment with the toes. We, I think we did this one last week. So you're here. You're gonna do a press up with the arms for, sh for shoulders and triceps and then up into a sit up. So you lift, you come down, you sit up. Now this is a challenge. So you might just want to stick with the arms. You might be like, thank you Charlotte, but no thank you. That's okay. This is challenging. This is our final four. Come forward. If you drunk lots of coffee already this morning, you'll be wishing you hadn't. This is a really hardcore exercise in the tummy. If you feel any strain on your back, or your neck, it means you're not engaging your core enough and this is too challenging. So do it without the bell. One more for luck. You could do this really intensely without the bell. We're just working really hard and release. Final bonus exercise. Bell comes up, your legs come off the floor, heels together and when you're ready you're going to drop the legs down, bring them up, down, bring them up. So you don't want to go too far down. You only want to go as far as possible with your back still not arching. So if I go really low here, my back's arching and that's not good. You don't want that. It's all working from the core at the front. The transverse abdominis, the rectus abdominis are doing the work. Let's do two more, I'm purposely talking to take your mind off it. One more, and bend your knees, drop the weight down, pop it over to the side, goodbye bell. All right, into the cool down. Oh la la. All right, you're gonna take the legs down nice and long. You're gonna point your toes away from the centre line of your body. Flex your toes. Point and flex, point and flex. So I hope that you're as sweaty as me and that you really felt your body, the joy of moving in this class. I think we might feel it a little tiny bit tomorrow and start with the toes and flexing and pointing. All right, when you're ready, you're gonna bring one knee in towards the chest and you're gonna hug the knee towards the chest. And you're just gonna hold it where it feels comfortable. Don't be tempted to sort of grip it really harshly, just hold it where it feels good. Lovely stretch for the hip flexor. And then when you're ready, you're gonna take this leg over the center line of your body and roll it to, towards your screen. You'll then, if it feels good, you've got a solid strong back, you're then going to take your head and your arms in the opposite direction. And you're still engaging the core, you're still working the body, but you're bringing your heart rate back down. So you've got enough energy to put the kettle on. And then you're gonna come back to the center. You're gonna take the leg long, and then you're gonna bring the knee in towards the chest, and you're gonna hold it where it feels good. Again, try not to engage your bottom or your hips. They're still sinking into the mat. 
And then when you're ready, you're going to bring that knee across the centre line of your body. And then if it feels good, you're going to take your arms and your head in the opposite direction. You should feel a lovely stretch along that lower back into the hip area. Nothing should be hurting. Um, if anything felt challenging, that's great. If you felt had any pain, obviously that's not good. I wasn't expecting you to have any pain, but if you did, you, you need to stop. Anytime you feel pain, stop. Challenge, work through the challenge, go to the breath. And then come back to the centre. We're then going to bring the knees up. You're going to drop the knees out to the side. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. And you should feel a lovely stretch in your inner and outer thighs. Try not to engage your bottom or your hips. Let them sink into the mat. Feel the, the mat on the lower back. And let your shoulders relax if you can. Just take your neck over to one side, to the centre, to the other side. And then when you feel like you've done that enough, you can just relax in the centre. Now I like to think about inhaling, deep breaths, inhaling good health and exhaling stress. So let's um, just do a couple of those. Hopefully you're all staying fit and well. And so are your families, your loved ones. So take a lovely inhale through the nose, deep inhale. Inhaling good health. And exhaling stress. One more time, inhaling good health. And exhaling stress. And then just hold it there. Hold it where it feels good. Just do a little check-in with your body, how are you feeling? Tired, I imagine. Questioning why you got out of bed. <laughs> You'll feel amazing. I feel amazing. Body movement feels amazing. Makes you stronger, healthier, mind-body connection. Your body will be very quietly thanking you for all this good effort you did. All right, when you're ready, you're gonna bring those knees back up to the center. You're gonna drop your knees over to face your screen. You're onto your side. You're very carefully gonna come up onto your side. And then when you're ready, you're gonna come up to standing. Hopefully you're as red as me. I think I'm still as red as my kettlebell as I was last week. You're gonna take the legs wide in your plie position. It's like a lovely inhale. Drop the knees, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, reach. One more time, inhale. Exhale and shake it up. Well done to you. Put the coffee on. We will get together and uh, shortly, those of you who are doing it live with me, you can join in our messenger chat and have a coffee on this glorious Saturday morning. Um, otherwise, if you're doing it on repeat, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, hopefully, if you can catch me live next time, uh, that would be awesome. If you could let people know, your friends and family know that I'm doing it, I'd love them to join in. Uh, may as well as I'm as I'm doing it. I'm doing it anyway. All right. See you soon, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.